such public union. If we talk about uh, the gross violations of international human rights law uh, during the armed conflicts, particularly the issue uh, in, on the issue of extrajudicial killings and torture against soldiers and civilians, in addition to humanitarian law norms, from the human rights point of view, the Article 6 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights continues to apply also in situations of armed conflicts. And all the facts mentioned in earlier sessions and in this session about the extrajudicial killings and torture of Azerbaijani soldiers and civilians during the First Karabakh War, Second Karabakh War, and after the war would amount to a violation of the rights of the every individual to, li to life, liberty, and security, and freedom from torture as set out at the uh, ICCPR and Convention Against Torture. Armenia never provided with the informational locations of the mass graves and fate of the people who went missing in the war. What uh, civil society can play in responding, uh, play, what role can play in responding to gross uh, violations of uh, I, uh, human rights law? Uh, first of all, monitoring and reporting. Uh, civil society organizations can monitor and document violations of human rights uh, and uh, of humanitarian law as well as human, uh, human rights law in conflict zones. Uh, civil society organizations can provide protection and assistance to victims and uh, the, uh, to victims by providing them the legal support, medical care, shelter, psychological services. And of course, the key role of the civil society is a dialogue. Civil society can facilitate dialogue between conflicting parties and promote the peaceful resolution of the conflicts and foster reconciliation and understanding. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would like to offer the floor now to